Hey everybody, it's Phoebe from KingsleyProjects.com. I am going to be canning some peaches today. I am firstly going to be making jam, sliced peaches, and peaches that will go in the freezer. One pie, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So come along with me, I will show you my process. And this is from a completely new canner. I am a complete and absolute beginner. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I am learning as I go, and I have got a really handy tool that you can also use and can probably pick up at a local store. It's the Ball Preserve catalog that they have. They have over 500 recipes in this catalog, and it's a fantastic resource for a new beginner canner. If you want to see where I got it from, I actually got it from my local Meyer store in the canning section, but you can probably find it on Amazon. Anyways, let's get canning. Here we go. One of the first steps that I started with was washing my hands. Everything has to be really clean when you're canning, so washing your hands is essential throughout the process. I ended up getting half a bushel of peaches from my local feed store, and these are freestone peaches, which means the stone in the center of the peach pops directly out. Half a bushel is a lot, so processing these was gonna take a lot of time. But aren't they beautiful? Look at that. So I started using the Ball Guide to Preserving. This book has everything you need to know about canning. These are the recipes I'm starting out with. Alright, after you have cleaned all of your peaches and removed all the stems, fill up a pan of water. These are going to be used for boiling your peaches and then you will want to prepare your ice bath as well. The ice bath is for when you're ready to skin your peaches. Make sure your water is at a rolling boil and gently place your peaches into the boiling water and set your timer for a minute. After the minute's done, place them in your cold water and leave them in there for maybe a minute or two and then start peeling. The peel should come directly off. The peeling process takes a long time. Some peaches, they're a little more well-tempered than others. I had a few peaches that were giving me troubles. Make sure your ice bath stays really cold, so keep adding ice throughout the process. I recommend having two different bowls and a huge pan for your peaches when they're done being peeled. The two bowls are for the peels and the pits or any stems that you have left over. I'm going to be using the peels for a powder later when I decide to dehydrate them. A friend told me about the dehydrating process and I'm totally going to do it. Now I'm going to be sterilizing all my jars, washing all my lids, and putting them into a pot so they can simmer and sterilize. These can sterilize for about 10 minutes in boiling water. Make sure you wash your jars. This is so important. You need clean jars because this is a very clean process. Set your water bath canner on your stove and bring it up to a boil. Now that you're waiting for everything to come up to a boil, slice them peaches. After I emptied my blanched water from my peaches, I'm adding my water for my simple syrup.
Now, here I am putting in the mason jars. Don't come at me, Canon community. This has been working for me, so putting these in like this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> Make sure you have at least an inch to two inches of water over your jars at all times, even in the sterilizing process. Now add your sugar into your water and bring it up to a boil. I sterilize my jars and my lids for about 10 minutes and then I take them out individually. But I leave them in the hot water to sterilize until I'm ready to pack each individual jar. Here I am dumping out all the water, making sure they're nice and clean. And it's time to pack. I'm using the raw packing method, so make sure you have really clean hands. I did wash my hands before this process. Don't be afraid to pack your jars. I did not pack them very well. And do not forget to grab a bamboo stick or a plastic knife to help take out the bubbles from your canned peaches. Now I'm putting in the simple syrup. The canning guide says to have about a half inch headspace, so I think I did that right. Now I'm taking out all of my air bubbles. Next step is to grab a clean cloth and put on some vinegar and clean the tops of your jars or the mouth of your jars. Then take out your sterilized lids and jars, place them directly in the center of your jar. Tighten the lid until it's finger tight. So just tight enough where you can't, where you don't have to really tighten it on. And then gently, gently, gently place them into your water rather and bring them up to a rolling boil. Next is our peach jam. I actually chopped up our peaches. I should have chopped them up a little finer because the process of crushing them after they were hot was way too much for me. So into the leftover simple syrup that I had, all of these peaches go into your pot. The guide says to have about three pounds of peaches. I'm pretty sure I had way over that. Next, cut up your lemons. And juice them. Make sure all the seeds are out of your juice so you don't have that uncomfortable crunchy taste of a seed in your jam. While I was waiting for my peaches to heat up I ended up getting my peach slices out of the water bath canner because they were already done. I kind of wiggled off the water from the top. Make sure you're not tipping it over like 90 degrees on its side because that will break the seal. So I'm just setting it on a towel on my counter and letting them cool for 12 hours. Make sure you listen for that pop. Now it's time to finish off my jam. I'm using the Real Fruit Pectin. Um, it's actually liquid pectin and it's amazing. I love this stuff. I put in two pouches and stirred her up. and then added all of my sugar. I had about six cups of sugar. The recipe I have calls for seven and a half cups, but seriously though, this jam turned out so good with less sugar because my peaches were so ripe and so sweet. And there's my husband, just came home from work. I 
After sterilizing my half pint jars, I take them out of my water bath canner, empty them out, place them on a clean towel, and start canning my jam. This funnel I got from my mom. <laughs> she got it for me. It's so cute, it's so vintage, I love it. And it's so useful. <laughs> I put enough jam to fill up to the bottom of the funnel. Wiped down the mouth of my jars. You don't have to debubble this process because it's liquid. And put on clean lids and a clean ring. And finger tight. And into the canner. Gently place these bad boys into your canner. Make sure they have an inch to two inches of water over top of them. I'm not entirely for sure why they say to do that, but just do it. <laughs> Next I'm gonna be doing my frozen peaches. After I washed my hands, I put my peaches onto a parchment lined pan and place them into the freezer to flash freeze them. My next batch of peaches is for a peach pie in a bag. This just goes into a lined pie dish. I'm a rebel and decided to use parchment paper instead of foil and I should have just used foil. You could take your pie filling out of your pie dish, it will be completely frozen, place it into a gallon size bag and keep it in until you want to use it in a pie. And that's pretty much all my canning process. These are what we canned today. We have 12 jelly jars of peach jam. And then we also have five, five quart sized jars of sliced peaches in a medium sugar syrup. And I also have two gallon sized bags of frozen peaches and then one peach pie in a bag. If you want the recipe for the peach pie in a bag, I will have it linked below. And I will also have the Ball Preserve catalog linked down below too, so you can also can your own peaches. If you like what you see here, we will be uploading every week or every other week, just depending on our schedule. If you also wanna follow along on my day-to-day, -day, go ahead and check out our Instagram at kingsland.projects. You can check us out there. We are also on Facebook as Kingsland Projects. And we also have a new blog at kingslandprojects.com. I will link everything down below. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. I will see you guys in the next vlog next week. Bye. This is what we can today. Good night. Good night.